In Chula Vista, you guys are, I mean, just sort of isolated to the training center, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, let's say you have athletes who want to live a more social life or they want to go out and do dating or go and do things. How, how do they do that? Is it possible? Is it hard? Or? It's kind of difficult to have a social life and a separate life yeah. from the track one because we all live and train together. But it's so like dating is really hard here. Yeah, it's um, like... I'm here for to get better and to be the best. Right, and you don't want to date with someone you work with and live with and eat with and travel with. Because if you break up, live then next it's... door to, <laughs> yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like someone's getting dropped off the list. Yeah, so, no. <laughs> and no one really wants that. I mean, we go off campus. See, I even say campus. Off we campus, go yeah. off site. <laughs> we go off site a lot. Um, just go out to eat and everything in the San Diego area, which is really nice. But yeah. it is yeah. hard to. Yeah. <laughs> So you live out here and you told me you've never been to SeaWorld. Have a, is that true for a lot of the athletes or is that... Well, I haven't been to SeaWorld since I've lived here. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I think that's pretty true for most people. We go on breaks, but when we want, when we're getting away from here, we go far away. Yeah, you go you know, back home. Or you we go, go home or, yeah. and we go visit friends or we go back to where we came from. So... I don't think a lot of people go to SeaWorld and Disneyland and everything. Yeah, they're like, you know, I think I'm going to see my family. Mickey yeah. Mouse can wait. And right, <laughs> and it's something we always talk about. We always have, like, these vague plans to go to SeaWorld and yeah, the next <laughs> never month make after it. Nationals. Well, yeah, and yeah. it's just like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. 